Have you ever been standing at your bus stop, waiting for your bus to arrive, only for two or three to show up at the same time? It's called bunching, and this week for Talk Tuesday, we're gonna take a look at what causes it. Let's go. Hey everyone, Sean here. We know that as a traveler, it can be frustrating standing and waiting for a bus that's behind schedule, only to see two or three show up at the same time. In the transit industry, we refer to this as bunching. It's what can happen when one bus encounters short delays like traffic congestion, lane reductions, or heavy passenger loads. The next scheduled bus may not encounter the same delays, allowing it to catch up to the one ahead of it. Let's take a look at how this plays out on the road. Our friends at Satosa have created an interactive tool to show how bunching works when there are heavy passenger loads. You can see that as the first bus is loading and unloading more passengers than the bus behind it, the second bus is eventually able to catch up. YRT has several operational procedures in place to combat bus bunching, but each situation is unique and requires real-time analysis and decision-making from our operations staff. Before making a decision, they need to consider things like how many passengers are on board, if there are passengers with mobility devices, if the bus is going out of service at the end of the trip, the frequency of the trips for the route, and other possible scenarios. Our operations staff are constantly monitoring all YRT routes and making adjustments where possible. Cover buses are sometimes added to assist with service, but it's important to keep in mind that they may also encounter the same delays. Just know that our team is doing all they can to adjust to what's happening on the road so that we can help you get to your destination. Thank you for tuning into this month's Talk Tuesday. If you have any transit questions you'd like to see us answer, feel free to DM us on Instagram or submit your question to talktowyrt.ca. See you next time.